Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. I know it's been a bit of a while, I apologise. Real life kind of got in the way a little bit, but here I am again. Red regular videos are going to be coming from now on. But let's get started. Welcome back to Just An Average Metal Head. I am your host with the most, the Fresh Prince of Darkness himself, Matt. And today, I have got a video for you. Last night, 4th of November 2023, I went to see one of the best British bands we've got at the minute, Skin Dread, live at the Engine Shed in Lincoln, and what a night. Before I even get into it, one of the best crowds I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely amazing. I blew my voice out big time. <laughs> my back and my neck are still killing from just how hard everybody was throwing down last night. Just, oh my god. that cr The crowd made that gig even, like, top tier. Um, oh, I don't know if, where to start. Um, the first... I got there for see both of the support acts. I always make a an effort of like being there as soon as doors open, see the support acts, and I was not disappointed. Um, the first band were a band called Graphic Nature, and they blew the bloody doors off. No word of a lie. A band people really really need to be keeping an eye on because big things are going to be happening for graphic nature uh the best way i can describe what they sound like is if you hybridized slipknot and corn and threw in a uk dance like background like proper old school brutal new metal shit but with a UK tinge. Absolutely incredible. The band are incredibly talented. The songs are incredible. They've got people going from word one. Like, from the start, everybody was into it. Like, I, I, I cannot even describe like they are easily one of the best support acts I've ever seen in my life 100% people desperately desperately need to check this band out like I will 100% if they are playing in my local area again I will be going to see Graphic Nature N not a chance I'm going to be missing out on them because big things are coming for this band the, the singer that is a guy that has stage presence. For me, he is like a... He's like if you crossed Corey Taylor and Chino Marino. Like, he's got that menacing presence that, like, early days Corey Taylor had. But he's also got that cool presence that Chino Marino has got. And, like... You, he, he proper gives that thing of like you do not want to fuck with this guy like he is amazing um, if I'm going to I will recommend one song for each um, support act but the one if you're going to see if you like like this band really check out the song Into the Dark absolutely amazing properly preaching some things I believe in like mental health stuff and just like the unity of being there for one another and I cannot like people say metal's like negative but it really really isn't like from the word go I have I felt like part of one unit with the everybody else in the crowd like absolutely incredible again please 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 check out graphic nature big big things are happening gonna happen for this band i can feel it in my heart it's just there's no way a band can be that good and good things not happen for them uh, and second up was a big surprise i'd not heard of this band either 
but black gold again if they're playing in my local area there's not a chance I'm ever going to miss them Jesus Jesus Christ like if graphic nature woke everybody up black gold started the fucking party like wow they for, again from word one everybody was going for it no complaints they're, they are like old school hip hop meets like the modern metal sound and they have blended it so so perfectly that lead singer has got fucking bars like I love hip hop I am unashamedly like like old school hip hop is my jam, and it this just pressed all my buttons. I cannot complain. Like in the middle of their material, they the oh yeah, we're going to, the relationship between the DJ of the band and the singer was just oh perfect, absolutely amazing. Yeah, it really gave me some like threw me back to like the early nineties hip hop stuff. I no complaints. No complaints whatsoever. Probably one of the highlights of their set was their like metal cover of uh, "Throw You." Uh, no, throw you. I ain't going out like that by Cypress Hill. Uh, the recorded version is with Fever Three Three Three, but their version just on their own, like absolutely amazing. I don't know why I was going to say "Throw You" set in the air. <laughs> I think it's because I listened to that earlier this morning when I woke up. Um, yeah, their cover of um, ain't, I Ain't Going Out Like That was just mad. Like, again, this singer, he was like, he n nobody was going to get away with not getting into that. It was just like next level shit. Like, again, if they're in, if they're playing in your local area, Please, please, please go see Black Gold and Graphic Nature. You will not be disappointed. Um, my re song recommendation for Black Gold is please check out the song Boogeyman. It is it's amazing. They finished the set with it and I've got no complaints. That's just, that was my jam. After... Black Gold, while they were setting the stage up for Skin Dread, they were playing music over the PA. And this is, again, me, just a big thank you to the crowd that was there last night. Like, I had fun with just the music that was playing over the PA. Like, there was two moments where I got genuine, like, goosebumps up my arms, just with the crowd, and... That was, uh, they played Don't Stop Me Now by Queen over the PA. And everyone in the place was singing it word for word. Oh, oh my heart was just so filled with joy. And again, they dropped the lights before Skin Dread's opening tape and played Thunderstruck. And everybody was going mad for it as well. And, oh. I just stuff like that really like this music is my life I, I have been obsessed with it since I was a kid so knowing that there's people other people like that with it like in the world just oh it fills me with so much joy and it brings a, such a smile to my face then we get to Newport's finest from the moment the Empire March intro tape hit, it was something special. It was just incredible. Sorry, my throat's still blowing out from last night. Um, and they booted the set off brilliantly from word go. First song they played was Set Phases from the new album and... What an opening track. That is how you start the party. Benji and the rest of the guys were on top form. Like Benji's 
crowd banter throughout the night was just incredible. And they just throw in constant curveballs throughout the night. Like the next song they played was Pressure. Again, one of my favourite Skin Dread songs. But they threw in a bit of Back in Black at the end of it. And like, I, who can't get down with Skin Dread playing fucking ACDC? Again, Rat Race. Out of nowhere, threw in a little bit of Wonderwall. <laughs> you know, like who would have thought that Skin Dread and Oasis would have gone well together? But it does. <laughs> no complaints. Um, after uh, that, one of, uh, for me, an incredibly underrated Skin Dread song. They played "World on Fire," and oh, like, oh, I was like, yeah, down for that. And but with every song, like the crowd were just. Every word, like, Benji had them in the palm of his fucking hand. Like, I completely stand by my statement I made in my top albums video. Skindred could start a party in a fucking morgue. Like, they, they, why they aren't bigger, or playing bigger venues, I have no idea. Like, uh, the first time I saw Skin Dread was supporting Volbeat last December, and they had that the arena at Leeds just going mad. Like, they should be they should be in arenas every goddamn time. Like, th these small venues cannot contain Skin Dread. Like, more people really need to be, like, they need to see Skin Dread, seriously. Like, they've been around for 23 years and they have never missed a step. They have been the best live British band forever than they always will be. There is, like, you cannot... You cannot fuck with that band. After Worlds on Fire, they played uh, L-O-V-E, Smile Please... Like, oh, Benji on this song was just next level. And, like, that song, it's, it really, really gets me going. Like, just oh, just a room full of metalheads, like, singing about peace and love. You just can't go wrong with it. It was amazing. And uh, after that, they did a partially acoustic version of If I Could off the new album, which... Oh, it was beautiful. Like, and again, the band themselves were just didn't like they they don't they don't miss a trick. They they sound better live on than on record, and on record they're incredible. Um, then they sort of cranked the gear back up again. Um. They played Kill the Power next. Seriously, like... Kill the Power is... Yeah, like, I don't... There's, like... If you don't move during Kill the Power, you, like... I don't think you've got a pulse. That song is just that good. Um, Yeah, after that, they played Life That's Free, which, again, amazing song. Absolutely incredible. Just. Oh. And after Life That's Free played Nobody, that place just erupted during Nobody. Like, there might have been more from in the, like the, at the other side of the venue, but from where I, I could see two pits during Nobody. And, like, they started a wall of death as well. And then Benji absolutely just and the guy the Benji and the lads just absolutely mixed it up with the end of nobody and finished nobody with a fucking drum and bass break, like, but that's just skin dread like just mixing things up, like making everybody feel absolutely incredible, and oh yeah then they finished the main set with honestly like again 
if you don't move during this song, I don't think you've got a pulse. They finished the main set with Gimme That Boom. Oh, literally. Like, it was the first song they released off the newest album, like the start of this time last year. And I have zero complaints. Like, absolutely just next level shit. Just. Like, I can't complain. Yeah, then they. Um, uh, came back for a two song encore. They started it with Our Religion, the opening track of the new album, which just bangs. And, like, everybody was just, like, head banging like a motherfucker. That song goes fucking deep. <sighs> and one of the highlights from the night, I know it's cliche with Skin Dread, but they finished the set with Warning. They had uh, the lead singer from Black Gold come out and singing Jacoby Shaddix's part off the uh, recorded version. What a way to finish the night. Um, seeing the room, ev pretty much everybody in the room doing the Newport helicopter towards the end of Warning was just... <sighs> like, if you don't have a good time at a Skin Dread show... I don't know what's wrong with you. The that band are just insanely good. Like I, as the outro tape for Skin Dread says, nobody does it better. Like they are one hundred percent the best British band on, like, out at the minute. Well, not even uh, for me. Not even like British band like. They are the be one of the best live bands on the planet. No ifs, buts or coconuts. They are fucking amazing. I genuinely... If there are still tickets left for their show at Wembley Arena... Get them. Because you are going to see Skindred own Wembley when they play. Like I said, they are... They, small venues cannot contain the absolute perfection that a skin dread. I made the argument with my friend who I went to see last night that skin dread should be headlining Download Festival. And I mean that 100%. Like, they have, they've paid their dues for years and years and years. They need to be given that chance. Like, I've never met anybody that doesn't like Skin Dread. Like, I feel like I have a couple of bands where, like, if you're into this kind of music, if you don't like Queen, I don't trust you. And if you don't like Skin Dread, I don't trust you. Like, even if you don't like them on record, if you see Skin Dread and you walk away going, oh, what a shit night, you've got problems. Because they are... It's impossible to have a bad time watching Skin Dread. It just is. I'm sorry. I've been to like I've been to three gigs this year, and they are both like all three of them are top tier. Like they they are as good as each other, and I cannot pick which one is my favourite. Like I saw Wasp at, at Rock City at Nottingham at the start of the year. An amazing night. I. I'm going to be doing a, vi a separate video on this as a, like a throwback review because life got in the way at the time. I didn't get a chance to review it at the time uh, when I went to it. But I achieved a lifelong dream in June and I finally saw Iron Maiden. Again, I've got no words for how good that night was. And I, again, like the Skin Dread. There are no words to describe how good that band are. So please, 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 if there are tickets left for Wembley and you can go, try and go to see them at Wembley. We need to prove that this band are like, like they, they deserve to be in that size venue all the time because like one of the best gigs I've ever been to in my life 
their album is that they brought out this year is still my album of the year now. Like I don't, it's going to take something extra special to knock that off the top of the mountain for me this year. Nothing is getting touched. It is nothing's wiping out Smile from the top of my album of the year list. I don't think. Like I said, it's going to take a surprise album to just knock that out of the park because nothing's beaten Skindred this year. 2023 is the year for Skindred. I absolutely stand by that. But they've they've never failed. Like every album's a banger. Every like time I've heard people talk about them live, it's been amazing. Every time I've seen them live, it's been amazing. So yeah, please, please, please support this band. They are just one of the best UK bands we've ever had. And yeah, seeing a, like it was sold out last night, and seeing a room full of people go mad for a band like that, just oh, it's just it's it, that's the stuff I love. Like people, people say our their music is dead, but. It really isn't. Like, in bands like Skin Dread, I keep it alive with like a modern twist, and I can't. I, 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 I love that shit. I can't. I can't, like, put that down. It just really. Oh, it gets me right here. I love it. Um, so, yeah, that's my. That's my Skin Dread review. Yeah, please, please, please check out um, Skin Dread, Black Gold, and uh, Graphic Nature. They are just. That that night, from like yeah, from like seven o'clock to when we left it, like half past ten, just a mind blowing night, and I cannot complain about anything. It, like this first, my first time in the engine shed at Lincoln, and that venue is banging. I will be going to gigs there again in the future. So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. If you like what I do, please like, subscribe and uh, comment like yeah just comment on something you'd like me to talk about in the future so yeah keep it heavy you know i love you i'll catch you later see you later bye